Shalom, 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 Shalom. First and foremost, before we even get started in this listen, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the oculus of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and its truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I'm Brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands, man. And pretty much, man, you don't have uh, the topic I'm about to go into, brother. Um, you don't have plenty of brothers that already done did videos on uh, the nigga woman, all right? Uh, the the uh, latest, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, TikTok challenge, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know what I'm saying? Which uh, I think that was like earlier, earlier, earlier last week or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you had brothers already doing videos on it. And, you know, it was just so sickening to me. I ain't really even, you know, I seen like a little bit of clips of it. And, you know, just so happened, you know what I'm saying? I was, um, you know, I was going through my YouTube feed and, you know what I'm saying? I happened to see it and I clicked on it. I just got pissed off, you know, to the point where I was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and do a video, man. <laughs> I do a video on this right here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I wouldn't even give the nigga woman no damn light, okay? All right? And when I say nigga woman, man, I'm talking about all the 12 tribes, man. All right, and and of course, you know what I'm saying. Uh, have you know have to say it. You know I have to say this right here. You know this ain't to the sisters. That's you know what I'm saying the few sisters that's out there. That's uh, uh sincerely, man. You know what I'm saying trying to get in order, man. With y'all about your mouth shot, not. You know what I'm saying we exempting them. You know what I'm saying, and like I said, that go without saying. If the the shoe don't fit. You know what I'm saying? Hell, don't put the motherfucker on, all right? You know, no, we're not talking about you. Talking about the nigga woman. And when, like I say, all the 12 tribes, when I'm talking about the nigga woman, you, you know what I'm saying? The Negro women, the Latino women, and Native American women, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's why I'm referring to with their wicked ass or whatnot, man, you know? But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into the clip, man, without further ado, man. All right, I ain't want to go on no damn rant or nothing. This is this is the, the latest man of the nigga woman man. See when the elders apostles man when they be telling when they be speaking and be prophesying man and be saying the nigga woman ain't shit, you know dudes be thinking oh man they they you know they so hard on the women man they hard on the sisters man fuck that man. Do you see do you see the actions man? All right you see the actions okay all right every damn day man every fucking day or whatnot man they they bug got worse and worse. Hell you had what a nigga woman that what uh. I, uh, what, what the latest nigga woman on social media What slapping her little infant child in the face Because her boyfriend Ghost her so called ghost her or what not he fall, he fall back off her wicked ass Or what not You know what I'm saying You know, Just just one of the latest and one of the many examples Of the wickedness of the fucking goddamn women man Alright that's why a majority of them uh, Of two thirds gonna be goddamn women man Okay alright Cause we know it's more women than men anyway On this planet on this earth man all right, but without further ado, man, let me go on, um, put this little clip up here, this little demonic fucking nigga women, man, up here. And like I said, this is called the Master TikTok Challenge. All right, got black women looking crazy, man. It's the truth, you man, the future, you know. NASA. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they, 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 I mean, come on, man. That right there, they say a picture speaks a, th a picture can say a thousand words, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that little footage said a million words, man. Showing you that the nigga woman ain't with us, okay? All right? They're, they're, they're totally off. They're bugged the hell out. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the nigga women up there squirreling, swirling, swirling with the with the, with the the enemy, Esau, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With with they so-called master, with they so-called uh, 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 partner in crime, all right? <laughs> Going all the way back to the garden with Eve and the serpent, okay? All right? Partner in crime. But let's... Let's go ahead and get into the strips, man. We ain't, this ain't about to be a long listen, man. All right? It's about to be a short, short listen right here. All right? And the first uh, scripture I'm going to get, let's get into, let's get into it. Job 39 and 17. Because Yahweh have deprived her of wisdom. She ain't got no damn wisdom 
whatsoever, man. All right. First of all, you know what I'm saying? You know, you up there swirling with Esau, having Esau kids. Okay. Hey, man, like I said, you know, once you sitting up there and you land with Esau or, or, or land with any of the heathens, man, I'm not talking about you Hebrews, you like women out there. When you lay down with the, a damn heathen, you know what I'm saying? Man, first of all, you defiling your body, you defiling your temple. And also, you know what I'm saying? If you have children by the damn heathen, here it is, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 they're carrying the damn heathen seed, man. All right. In which, you know what I'm saying? These heathens over here in Babylon, all the heathens going to be destroyed, man. Ain't no damn heathen getting fucking delivered, man. All right. You know, and see, like I said, man, you, you know, people may say, well, you know, you got men, you know, they be up there and they be with the so-called white woman and they have kids with the white women or the other heathen nation women. Guess what, man? You know what I'm saying? When the Israelite man, you know what I'm saying? When, if he impregnate a heathen woman, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? The man carry the seed. All right. The man carry the seed. OK, so if I sit up there, I use myself as an example. I sit up there. And I get me like a Marilyn Monroe, a fine ass Marilyn Monroe. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and lay seed in her. Guess what? You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, that that seed is a Hebrew Israelite seed at the end of the day or whatnot. All right, you know, could a man carry the seed at the end of the day? The man determines the nationality, man. That's why elders all, all always say this as well too. We don't need a Hebrew Israelite woman to bring back the nation at the end of the day. All right, and let me get um, let me get let me get let me get numbers. Let me get numbers. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. Numbers 1 and 28. All right. You know, to bring that receipt. Okay. You know, we, we, we keep the receipts. Okay. All right. We keep the receipts around here. Let's get, uh, let me see here. Uh, numbers 1 and, numbers 1 and 28. Numbers 1 and 28. Of the children of Issachar, by their generations after their families by the house of their fathers whoa this is about a house of their fathers man all right which what proves and show that you know your nationality come through the seed of your father matter of fact um shallot, let me get numbers one and 18 shallot. you know 28 good too that's still bringing the point as well too you know what i'm saying but let me get numbers one and 18 and it says numbers one and 18 and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declare their pedigrees, your pedigree, man, your bloodline, man, after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles, man. All right, you know, so it just told you, you know what I'm saying, their pedigree. After their families, by the house of their father, so your father determine your nationality at the end of the day or whatnot. To prove that you know, prove the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you had, uh, for example, you know, like I say, you know, like uh, v, uh, what, which I think what Serena Williams, I, I think, you know, what I'm saying, married to a damn Edomite. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And and, and have a seed by a damn Edomite. Guess what? Hey, hey, that seed that she have, the kids that she have, hey, hey they're going to be destroyed, man, in nuclear fire, man. <laughs> All right? By Yahweh, by Shemihah, with Shah, man. All right? Because she doesn't bear kids with a goddamn heathen, man, at the end of the day or whatnot, which is totally doggone off. But going back to the point of the damn nigga woman up there making mockery of slavery, making mockery of what happened, all right, to the, to the, uh, so-called Negro man and you know what I'm saying all the tribes man been lynched and been hung but when you talk about lynching what what's the number one tribe you know what I'm saying um is known for being lynched man on a black and white pictures man hey man the Judah man all right when I say Judah you know referring to Judah so-called Negroes Benjamin you so-called you know what I'm saying um Jamaicans all right and and Levi you so-called Haitians man all right you know all the tribes you know what I'm saying uh, by the hands of Esau them being lynched man at the end of the day but you know what I'm saying? But with Judah being the head tribe, all right, which Esau knows that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they was, you know what I'm saying? We are known, you know what I'm saying, for being lynched by you goddamn devils, man. Ain't just the, the so called Negro man, hey, the damn Negro woman, the stupid nigga woman up here, the nigga women up there, all right, that, 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 that's uh, indulging in this goddamn madness on TikTok with the massa challenge or whatnot. Hell, Esau was lynching you damn women too, man. All right, he was cutting your damn bellies open, man. All right, stumping on the, the baby fetus, man. All right, or ha have your ass down and and cut, you know what I'm saying, and, and um and stump on your damn stomach and shit while you was pregnant or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying, you know, and, and, and rape you relentlessly. 
But see, these nigga women, they forget that, though, man. All right? Hey, they forget that. And they're going to sit up there and, and think that's some type of entertainment. And like I said, man, nigga, y'all do challenges with any, Man, j jump off a damn bridge, man. That's what I want to see. See, they, they jump off the bridge. And you have stupid nigga women doing that challenge. They'll be competing in that challenge, man. Show you they fucking stupid, man. All right? Letting you know they're not with us at the end of the day neither, man. Okay? But let's get back to Job 39 and 17. But this, these certain beta male, these are the goddess, all right? They, 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 they the goddess, okay? All right? <laughs> yeah, man. I'll tell you, these niggas are more bugged out than these hoes. Um, any nigga, you know what I'm saying, prescribing to that uh, philosophy. But anyway, uh, Job 39 and 17, because Yahweh have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her Understanding, man. Cause first of all, she don't know who she is. So she ain't got no, she ain't got no wisdom. She ain't got no damn understanding, man. Cause like I said, man, she, you know what I'm saying. She, 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 she don't know that she gonna be destroyed at the end of the goddamn day, man. All right, you know what I'm saying. Sitting up there, you know what I'm saying. She, she the nigga woman, love being in the world. All right, you know what I'm saying. You know, this is this is part of their kingdom as well, too, man. All right, you know, going all the way back to the garden, and and I, and I, I said, speaking on that, let me get uh get Genesis the third chapter, man. Speaking of that, man. All right. Because Eve, you know what I'm saying, she she started off the, the feminist movement. <laughs> All right? She started the damn feminist movement, okay? But let's get uh, Genesis 3, and we'll read one, one on down to 6, man. All right? Uh, Genesis uh, 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field. Yeah, and that, that serpent, you know what I'm saying, is talking about Esau, man. All right? You know? Uh, and he was more subtile than any beast of of the field, man. You know what I'm saying? Than any other nation. He, he's the wicked, man. All right. Now you have wicked, uh, you have nations that do wicked ass acts, right? You know, you got some wicked people of the other heathen nations. You got, you got wicked people of Israel at the end of the day. But Esau, he is the wicked. You know what I'm saying? He's the third category of man because you have a nation that are the wicked. All right. At the end of the day. All right. Pursuing back to uh, Malachi 1 and 4. All right. But uh, going all the way back, you saw he's a, you know what I'm saying? He's the wicked from the beginning, okay? But anyway, Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, have made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have Yahweh said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And, you know, those trees represent, you know what I'm saying, the different philosophies, man. All right? Because, you know, Yahweh Shai, I tell you, the heathens have their own gods, man. Not one god, but the heathens have multiple gods, man. All right? You know? So, you know what I'm saying? At that time, you know what I'm saying? You know, Adam and Eve, they didn't know, you know what I'm saying, wickedness. They only know righteousness at the end of the day, man. All right? They only knew what righteousness was, man. Okay, they ain't know about no damn, uh, what no, you know, they ain't know about wickedness, man, which we about to read. All right, when we read further down, uh, verse two. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So you sitting up there and you going off, you know what I'm saying? You going into the, all these other wary and perverse goddamn um, philosophies, man. Hey, man, that, that's the death, man. Jake that's involved in Islam. Jake that's involved into this uh, plantation Christianity. Jake that's involved in the Egyptology and 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 Jake that involved in that, that Moorish madness. Okay, all right, chemic. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, whatever, whatever philosophy you involve in outside of the truth. All right, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Those philosophies are going to lead you to uh, to death at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, you know? And um, going back, it says, uh, going back to Genesis uh, uh, 3 and 3, it says, But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Yeah, man, see, that's the... That's the damn nigga woman mindset. You know what I'm saying? You know, she gonna do, she gonna go off. Going back to Job 39 and 17, she ain't got no wisdom or understanding. That's why the serpent approached Eve. He didn't approach Adam, he approached Eve. All right? He approached the simple one. <laughs> okay? All right? And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. See, it's showing you the serpent in those scriptures too. But then the, the serpent, he twists the scriptures, man. All right? You know? And here it is Eve, 
you know what I'm saying? She was beguiled, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she was hoodwinked, hoodwinked. But, you know, I ain't going to say she was hoodwinked, man. Because Eve, man, hey, what the serpent was telling her, it sound good to her goddamn ears at the end of the damn date, man. All right, you know? Um, and it says, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. And, and she believed that. But but guess what, though? You know what I'm saying? You know, it, sa it says, the serpent says she shall not die. And the serpent was lying to her ass, man. All right? Serpent lied to her. And guess what? And she, she took it. Hook, um, hooks, hook. She took the hook. She took the damn bait, man. All right, <laughs> yeah, took the damn bait. But anyway, little inside joke. But um, this right here is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. All right, uh, twenty-five, and read verse twenty-four, man. Twenty-five and twenty-four. It says, "Of the woman came the beginning of sin." Yeah, yeah. Of the woman, beginning of sin, starting with goddamn Eve, man. All right, you know, uh, taking on that, uh, taking on that philosophy, of, you know what I'm saying? Taking on that other uh, perverse philosophy, man. All right, okay. It says, uh, Sirach, 20, um, Sirach 25 and 24, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. <laughs> see, see, but see, the serpent told her she wasn't going to die. See, that's showing that's Esau in the beginning, man. Being the goddamn devil that he is, but it is Eve being deceived by the goddamn serpent, man. All right, you know? But uh, finishing up, finish, finishing up. For Yahweh doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, which, you know what I'm saying, as a god, knowing good and knowing evil. Yeah, the serpent, he didn't lie on that part, but far as he talking about you ain't gonna surely die. Hell, you know what I'm saying, you know, hell, he lied on that part. All right, you know, and like I said, man, and we just read the scripture through the woman, we all die, you know what I'm saying? But but see, the woman, what she wanted was power, man. That's why, you know, going back, you know what I'm saying? You know, Jeremiah 31, 22, the woman shall compass the man, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Especially with this, you know, with that feminist movement. All right, but we're watching the beginning of it right there. We watching, I mean, we, we're, we're reading the beginning of it right here, <laughs> okay? Uh, verse 5, Genesis 3 and 5. For Yahweh doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, yeah, the, 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 that wicked philosophy, man, all right? You know, the woman feminist, <laughs> the beginning of the woman feminist movement, and that it was pleasant, all right, because a woman want to be God, okay? She ain't want to be subjective up on her damn husband. She ain't want to be in order. She can't. She 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 can't uh she can't follow instructions, man. That's why you know she need guidance, man. All right, you know you know you you know you know how pimps say that shit on the wicked ass shit on the left hand side, which is true. But you know what I'm saying you don't supposed to make no whore of a woman of Israel. Oh, you don't supposed to make no whore of any woman of the other heathen nations as well, neither, man. All right, so being a pimp is wicked as hell. All right, so let me let me state that. All right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But in righteous sake. You know what I'm saying? The right-hand side, a woman do need guidance, man. All right, from a man man of the Lord, man. Man of wisdom, man of understanding, man. A man of the Lord, man of the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? All right? Um, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, yeah, 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 that, you know, being a God, having power, yeah, yeah, it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? She believed in that shit, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? She wanted that. She wanted that power thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat. And, you know, hey, Adam, being simple, man, and he bought into it. And hey, we at the place where we at today, man. That's why the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, it's stated. Things are written, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, for time, man, it's for our learning at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, you know. But uh, let me go into this point as well, too, man. All right, going back uh, to Deuteronomy, man. And we're going to end with this right here, man. We're going to end with this, man. We're going to end with this. I ain't listen go this long, right? We're going to end with this one here, okay? Uh, Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 2, all right? And it's going into, you know, Israel, you know, going into, you know, um, um, the land of Israel. I mean, with children of Israel going into the land of Canaan, all right? You know what I'm saying? With the land of Israel, all right? And we're seeing, and which which they, which they are Hamites, okay? And which Yahabashim al Rashad, you know what I'm saying? Um, Pretty much. Matter of fact, let me just read it, man. I start at verse one. When the Lord Yahweh Shemal thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the the Hishites and the Gergesites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the 
and the uh, parasites and the hitchvites and the jebusites seven nations greater and mightier than thou which were hamites all right and showing you how about you don't give a damn about these damn heathens man all right um and when the lord you how about you shall thy power shall deliver them before thee thou shall smite them which kill them and utterly destroy them most i say utterly destroy them man, all of them man all right utterly destroy them thou shall make no covenant with them nor show mercy unto them all right verse three neither shall thou make marriages with them now the hamites are, are heathens man and so is goddamn fucking esau man how much more fucking esau the goddamn wicked man all right you know and like i said going into the damn women out here swirling with with the uh you know what i'm saying with the oppressor man esau man all right totally going off man but we're going into the law right here man okay it says, uh, uh, cause you don't, you don't supposed to make no damn covenant, make no marriages with these damn heathens or whatnot. But the nigga woman, she, she's big on that, man. Or she loves, she look at the so-called white man. She think he, she think he Jesus, think he's God, man. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Deuteronomy seven, um, verse uh, Deuteronomy seven and three. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters thou shall not give unto unto his son so you don't so woman don't supposed to be swirling around with no ham mites none of these heathens especially a goddamn edomite man all right nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son man all right for they will turn away thy sons from following me that they may serve other gods so y'all about to give you a reason why you don't supposed to be marrying these damn heathens or whatnot now don't get it twisted you know what I'm saying? You know the, you know can we have a, a heathen woman as a concubine? Yeah, you, you better believe it. we're gonna have heathen women as concubines in the kingdom, man. All right, you know you are gonna have heathen women. You know what I'm saying? As, as concubines in the kingdom. All right, ain't that wrong with that? Okay, you got certain niggas got problems with that, but hey, they just they just got a damn problem, all right? <laughs> you know, uh, uh, do you run me? Uh, um, seven, um, and reading um verse four again, for they would turn away thy sons from following me that they may serve other gods so will the anger of the lord yahweh shall be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly man so yo hey most i most i gonna do and just what he said he gonna do the most i gonna execute on his word at the end of the day man and any nigga women gonna be goddamn fucking destroyed man all right because their wickedness is but little to a damn woman at the end of the damn day man and like i said you just seen the example of that man all right. It's the truth, he means the future, you know. Mouth NASA. Mouth NASA. Mouth NASA. All right, man. That's, that's enough of these stupid ass damn nigga women, man. All right, with that, man, shalom, 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 shalom.